Hello, uh, this is Rick Gerard, and I'm going to make this quick because this is an After Effects quick tip. All right, I have a uh, null here with a nice motion path. And what I want to do is I want to move this dot right here. I want to move that along that same motion path. So the easiest thing to do is just click on position to make sure both keyframes right here are selected. Copy using the keyboard shortcut. Go down to the position of the dot, set a keyframe, doesn't matter where it is because we're going to now paste keyframes. Keyframes are all lined up because the time indicator was lined up and the little dot is following the motion path just perfectly. Now let's say I want to also change the path of this shape layer so that it lines up with the motion path here. So once again, I'll set a keyframe. Time indicator is right back at the start. So I'm going to set a keyframe and paste. Whoa! It moved like crazy. The shape looks okay, but it moved. Why did it move? It moved because the anchor point to a shape layer is at 000. And with this HD comp, the anchor point should be at 960. I'll hit the tab and go over here to 540. And now everything lines up just perfectly. Now let's see if we have a mask on a layer. I need the mask to be the same as this motion path. So once again, I set a keyframe to make sure everything is selected that I want. And I use the keyboard shortcut to paste. All right, the mask is there. It's an open mask, so it's not hiding anything. But the mask is now absolutely following the very same motion path. Now let's work the other way around. Let's turn a vector path into a motion path. Once again, I will select this mask path to make sure that it is selected. I'm going to cut it using the keyboard shortcut. And then I'm going to go down to the effects. Here I have a lens flare. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. I have the lens flare and I want it to follow this very same path. Okay, so flare center, I'll set a keyframe and paste. I'll drag the timing out and sure enough the lens flare absolutely follows the very same motion path. Okay, that's basically all there is to it. Let's undo that and see if it works with the shape layer path. So I'm going up to the shape layer once again I'm going to set a keyframe for path. I'm going to cut it. Well, I'm, I'm going to copy it this time. Copy. I'm going to the flare center. Select that and paste. And it's off. Can anybody remember why it's off? It's off because if we select the shape layer when we press the U key twice to reveal all modified properties, we'll see that the anchor point is fouled up. The anchor point on a shape layer is supposed to be 0, 0. Now it could be fixed, but it's going to be a lot easier just to go back to the mask path. Press M to reveal the mask path. Set a keyframe. Copy. And then go back to flare center. Set a new keyframe and paste. And there we go. We've got everything set just the way it's supposed to be. I hope this helps and uh, wish you all the luck in the world with your projects. Until next time, this is Rick Gerard.